This is an updated video on how to install Battleforge. There's been quite some time since the last video was created to help people install Battleforge and get the models that they need to play Warhammer 40k. I'm going to go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Malice. I am the TTS Warhammer 40k Community Manager. I'm also the admin for both the TTS Warhammer 40k Discord and the subreddit community r slash TTS Warhammer 40k. Let's go ahead and begin by doing a few disclaimers because last video we didn't have many disclaimers there. I just want to go ahead and start by saying that Battleforge is a community project. It's a created list of save files that are hosted on the Steam Workshop. The files from the GitHub do not actually include any model files. What we actually have on the GitHub are save games that tell your TTS client where to download the models from the workshop. Now, the models that we use in the Battleforge are made by mod creators of our community. These are third party works. These are not commercialized in any way. No one really gets paid for doing this. This is all just a community effort and there's no company associated with this. Battleforge attempts to catalog what's available to the public. We don't actually make any of these models. I myself do not make any models. So it's important to know that if something new comes out for Warhammer 40K, please keep in mind that mods are made by people with spare time with that disclaimer, with those set of disclaimers out of the way, let's go ahead and actually get into how to install Battleforge for the first time. Now this is gonna be under the assumption that you've never run Tabletop Simulator before. So we're gonna kinda walk you through as a fresh person getting into Tabletop Simulator. So the very first thing that you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to download and install Tabletop Simulator. Yes, you do need a uh, full, complete tabletop simulator. Um, it cannot be pirated. Pirated versions will not work like this here. Tabletop simulator is paid software. It is $20 USD. However, they do, and that by they, I mean, Berserk Games often runs sales where they sell tabletop simulator for 50% off. So you can actually pick that up um, about half off from time to time. So let's go ahead and assume you've got your tabletop simulator. We're going to go ahead here and open up tabletop simulator for the first time. Now this is important because this is going to generate the file structure that you need. I actually have tabletop simulator open already. Let's go ahead and go to the main menu what you would see. Um, if you see this screen, you're good to go. Your file directories have been built, have been created, have been generated, whatever you want to call it. All right, and so now we can actually close Tabletop Simulator. Okay, we'll just go ahead and minimize Steam for now. Uh, the next thing that you're going to need is a uh, zip extraction software. Now, some good things to use, I find, um, I am more preferential towards WinRAR, which is available for free. You can use WinRAR as your uh, extracting software of choice. You can also use 7-Zip. 7-Zip is another. Um, it's up to you. I prefer WinRAR. There's no wrong answer here. Any of these extractors are fine. You just need to find one, download, and install it. And it'll go through a self-installation thing. It'll be very easy. Once you got that, you can actually proceed to this next step here. Next up, we're gonna go ahead here and go to the uh, TTS Warhammer 40K Discord. Um, we're gonna be going and navigating down to the player resources category. All right. Now we're going to go to the hashtag download links 
and we will go ahead and scroll down to the bottom here where we see MMZ Battleforge. All right, here we will have the link to the GitHub. You need to just go ahead and navigate to that. Clicking this link will open up this page. This is the MMZ Battleforged GitHub. Um, here's information that you can go through. We're not gonna go through all this. We're just gonna skip through. Go and hit direct download, okay? You're gonna download and you will be downloading a zip. I've already have a zip here, but you wanna get the latest one. Direct download gets you the latest one, okay? And then you're gonna open up that zip. Open up that zip and you're gonna see this Battleforged mod pack. Alright. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your file browser and you're gonna go and navigate to let's go to this PC. Okay, and then let's go to C. Let's navigate to your users, and then let's go to your main user account and then from here we're just gonna go to documents and we're gonna go to my games and then we're gonna go to tabletop simulator and you should be into this this folder now I've run I've already run the uh, thing here but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna delete everything so that it looks identical to yours. So this is what you should actually see after uh, a clean install of Tabletop Simulator with nothing installed. Saved objects folder and everything is blank in here. All right, so go back to your zip file and we're using WinRAR for demonstration purposes here. We're gonna open this up. We're gonna go into the Battleforged and we're going to navigate to these files that you see here. Now, Battleforge comes included with Age of Sigmar, Blood Bowl, and Warhammer 40k modules. You can go ahead and pick as you choose, like if you don't want Blood Bowl or Age of Sigmar, you don't have to include this um, into the extracting process. But let's just go ahead and assume that you just want all of it just in case. Right? I think that's a, a good middle ground. So let's go ahead and just click and drag these to this folder here. Now this is very important because if you do not do this correctly, your Battleforge will not install correctly. You want these files that you see here in this file path here. What's in the beginning doesn't really, it's not very important, but over here you'll see that we have my games tabletop simulator saves make sure that you're dropping your files into this saves folder if you don't do this correctly you will not see the next section so make sure that your file directory is as we see here okay all right so next up all we need to do is open up tabletop simulator again so we'll go ahead here click play it up load it and we'll go ahead here and create a single player to check all right so now we've got ourselves into a room single player room it doesn't really matter and now we can go here to our save and load all right and now if you have installed Battleforge correctly this is what you're going to see on your end you see, you have Age of Sigmar Trove, Blood Bowl Trove, and Warhammer 40k Trove with an autosave file. This is where all the models are. Your TTS client has downloaded or will download when you open these mod files the models of each of these things. And you can see here that all the armies are kind of sorted for you Armies of Chaos, Armies of the Imperium, Space Marines, Xenos armies. Everything is going to be inside of these folders. And you just kind of navigate and then you open them as needed. Okay. So that's how you install Battleforge from a fresh install. I'm going to cover a few other topics just in case for anybody else who may not uh, need the fresh install. 
we're gonna go and teach you guys how to update the Battle Forge as it comes out. So firstly, to find if an update has been uh, published, all you need to do is go to, once again, the TTS Warhammer 40K Discord. Okay. And you're gonna go over to News and Alerts, and you're gonna go to MMZ Battle Forge Updates. And this will have a extensive kind of breakdown of to each of the updates that have been applied to the Battle Forge. And it tells you which models have been moved, which models have been added, which has been removed. Everything is gonna be here uh, in terms of updates. And so if you see something that you like, you need to update, go ahead and navigate yourself back to the GitHub because that's where all the updates are gonna be. So back to the GitHub, you'd go ahead and grab your the latest version of Battleforge. And if you have an old copy of Battleforge installed, here's the process of how you would do it. You would open up your zip and you would go back to the files that we went to, which was, once again, my documents, my games, tabletop simulator, saves, and you should have something that looks like this. And all you're gonna do is you're going to drag and drop Extract these into the file structure. Drag and drop. We go ahead and ask you if you'd like to replace. Yes, you would like to replace each files in the destination. This is how we're gonna overwrite your old saves with the new saves, but not destroy anything that you have in there. If you do it this way, you don't have to worry about breaking any of your old content Every, all your other things are going to be staying intact. The only thing that gets overwritten is the stuff that gets updated in the Battle Forge. Okay. Now, next up, we're going to go ahead and quickly teach you how to uninstall the Battle Forge. If you need to get rid of things but don't want to get rid of the content that you actually have, all you're going to need to do is, once again, you're going to go to navigate to My Games. You're gonna to navigate to Tabletop Simulator. You're gonna go back to the saves file and you're just gonna simply select these things here. You don't even really need to mess with any of these files. It's just really these folders. And you would just delete them and Battleforge would then be uninstalled from your system. Okay. All right, so next topic is where to where to find the install instructions for the other operating systems. All right, I mentioned it before. You can find installation instructions for the Windows OS here, the Mac OS, and Linux. Just follow these instructions and it'll teach you how to install, manually install to your systems. Okay. And so the next topic that we want to get to really quick is how to get help if you're stuck with Battleforge. What happens if you've done everything in the video and you need assistance, something isn't working properly, some, some issue is happening. Well, I'm going to go ahead and once again refer you back to the TTS Warhammer 40k Discord and you're going to come down to Player Resources. And you can go to this Battleforge, hashtag Battleforge support. And so the community here will assist you as best as they can. Now keep in mind that this is not commercialized. It's not like we have a 24 seven live support. This is all community run. And if you're nice and you ask for help, someone most likely will help you. We're just that kind of community. We're that friendly. And I, We'll go ahead and conclude the installation instructions on all this. That is how you get Battleforge installed, whether you're a fresh newbie getting into this, or if you're a returning veteran looking to update, this is how you get Battleforge installed as of now. Alrighty guys, and so I just wanted to go really briefly over some of the ways that you can actually support the community at large. These are some very direct ways that you can help us. Number one is our YouTube channel. Um, you guys might not know this, but <laughs> we actually do do content creation. We have quite a lot of things in here. It's
it's actually a little treasure trove of our own. We do things like the live stream learning games. We have the bots here so that you guys want to learn how to play Warhammer 40k. We have content for that. We also have some more more competitive games where we have like commentary going on and pro analysis and list analysis, list breakdowns, competitive meta kind of thing. If you guys are into that, we are actually a very strong contender in that type of content, I will say. And as we grow, that will get better. And more importantly, we also do upload beginner focused contents like things on how to build your armies, how to use Battlescribe, how to load up your armies, how to get them imported with Battlescribe to TTS, things that you're really going to need. We put it here because we want to help you guys play games. So our YouTube channel, we have that included. Just take a look at some of the contents here. Liking, subscribing here really helps us. If you guys want to help support us, you guys can kind of tune in to the TTS Warhammer 40k live streams and we actually are starting up the live streams again full blast aiming for content on every day and I actually love coming into the live streams because I get to talk with everyone so if you're a new person to the community it's an excellent way to go ahead and mix with us and kind of you know find your way into some games we also do things like answer questions and you know we're just really welcoming here Tuning into our live streams helps us a great ton, and also uh, following us helps us a great ton. And that brings me to the last way that you guys can help us. It's a very direct way. We do have a Patreon account. Uh, funds generated here helps us fund some projects that we have in the works. We do want to start the TTS requisition again, where we're uh, raffling away models to people. We do like to do a lot of those goodwill events, and you know this is a way that you can kind of directly support us and there's even a few perks here but I won't get into that so that's gonna go ahead and conclude the ways that you can support us and that's also gonna conclude the video and so once again my name is Malice and thank you very much for watching